Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm actually coming to you from editing this vlog that you're about to watch right now because I'm an idiot and I accidentally deleted the very first clip where I talked about what I was doing that day and introduced everything and now I can't quite remember what I said but essentially I think it's Wednesday but I don't think it really matters. It doesn't matter what I did earlier. Basically, I'm working from home on this particular day and you're about to see me eat breakfast and do my gratitude and stuff. Apparently, I was already ready for the day. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I did some work for Ali because it was my day to do, like, my personal assistant role, but I was just working from home that week. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know. So, subscribe if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys literally in the next clip. If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you I still believe so don't forget I'm not so far from home so don't forget Hey guys, so I've just been sitting outside in the beautiful sunshine on our little deck situation um, and I finished all my work for Ali now. I just sent it all off to her. It's a bit, it's kind of like late lunch time. It's a bit late in the day, but I did have a late start to the day, so that is okay. But yeah, I've been sitting out here because it's really, really nice weather in Brisbane lately and Dill is taking calls inside and I get too distracted when I'm like, because I actually love like hearing his calls and like listening to what he's teaching and stuff. Um, so I get a bit distracted if I'm meant to be doing work. And I'm not, I'm listening. So I came out here to do all of that. So this is what's happening. I wrote my little like to-do list for Ali at the top section. And then I've got this stuff down here. It's actually continued on from yesterday because I have this really bad habit of writing way too big to-do lists and not like actually being realistic with how long things will take me. So my to-do lists usually go for um, two or three days and then I rewrite a new one. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to... Oh, I need to make some lunch. I'm starving. I'm going to make myself some lunch. I think I'm going to have the same thing that I always have. Which is my tuna rice situation. I'll show you once I've made it because it is bloody delish. Might even watch a YouTube video while I eat my lunch and I'll come back out here because Dill is still on a call. And then I might do my emails and then I want to go to the shops, I think. And I, that should be good timing because I don't want to go right at the end of the day when there's traffic as well. But We'll see. Okie dokie, I'm back and I brought myself my lunch outside and some more notebooks and things so I can keep going. So at my lunch I have, I wish I could have showed you in the kitchen, but the kitchen is so dark because the bloody light just blew and Dill's talking as well so it's just all too hard. But I use the microwave packet jasmine rice. I use the 250 gram bag but I'm sure most people would only need the 125 gram cups but I just eat a lot and have a big appetite <laughs> so I use that jasmine rice so yummy and then one can of lemon pepper flavored tuna I think that John West is my favorite oh I'm blowing away here and then so that gives it the nice flavor and then salt and grated cheese and I've cut up cherry tomatoes as well into little pieces sometimes I put spinach in there as well for some more added nutrients but I haven't today so yeah, that's pretty high calories, pretty high in healthy fats, but it's just really yummy and I don't like track calories. I just think it tastes really good and it's pretty good for you. I'm also going to have this juice because hopefully you guys would have seen by now on my Instagram, I'm working with you foods, which is literally the most exciting thing ever. Like still like pinch me, but I just had a sip of this. I've just cracked it open. It's carrot, orange, apple, strawberry, and passion fruit in a juice and it's so freaking tasty. So very excited about that so I'm gonna eat away and keep on working
Well, this lighting you looks really good on camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey guys, it's Thursday, and this is my really cool Pilates instructor, Hello. Free. <laughs> and do you want to get into the vlogging game? Yes, I do. Yeah. Well. Actually, I'll just put your Instagram here because it's really cool. Oh, you were talking you. about my Instagram and then I went and looked at yours and I was like, what is she talking about? Yours is so cool. <laughs> Thanks. So Bless I put it here. Me. Follow Rhi. Thank Rhea. you. It's very cool. Thanks. She's a cool Pilates instructor. Club on car. Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Super cute. Fun. Hey guys, so as you saw, it is Thursday now and I went to Pilates this morning. I usually only do Pilates on a Tuesday or like once a week and then <clears throat> do CrossFit on the other days. Yeah, but this week I've been doing more other classes, mainly because Dill can't do CrossFit at the moment, so it makes me less motivated to get up and go. So I've been doing, I did boxing on Monday night and I did Pilates Tuesday, didn't do anything yesterday. Um, and I did Pilates this morning and I booked in Liv and I for boxing tonight because my friend Liv from the Gold Coast is coming up and we're going to pick strawberries today. We're going to a strawberry field. <clears throat> I think we're going to go to one that's up north so we have a reason to go to the sunny coast and go to the beach because it's meant to be nice weather. It's like 10 past 8 right now and I've just made up my brekkie protein oats with vanilla protein, chocolate and peanut butter and strawberries as usual and a little instant coffee that really has no coffee in it which is not a vibe but I'm going to sit here, do my gratitude and keep going on some work I completely forgot to finish like to vlog last night before I went to bed but so far I have, I bought the domain for my personal brand Ellie Kate so I can have a website to sell my ebook on and I kept, kept working on that and I've sort of got like a bit better of a price idea for my gift stop stuff as well. So that's really good. I'm going to keep doing that until Liv gets here and then I'll probably just vlog then. Guys, Liv walks in and I've only just gotten changed. I'm still doing my makeup. And we're wearing the same outfit. I was dressed first in my defense. <laughs> I've been dressed for about two hours. But was Thank I you. aware of it? <laughs> I was telepathically no. aware of it apparently. No. These are really just... This is so weird. Like, how crazy. I just don't have shoes on yet, but it's clear that I'm definitely gonna wear shoes that look like that. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you want a strawberry picking tip, guys? Yes. The tip is you need to get under the leaves so they're not sun bleached or sun damaged, like our skin. Oh. That's where the darkest, nicest ones are. Thank me later. So Have what do they do with the sun bleached ones on top? They use them for like ice cream and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh we have proof that it works. It works. See those? Do you see that color underneath? That Gosh. is a truly good summer story. Are you on Better Homes and Gardens? I am. <laughs> David Attenborough. How to survive the wild and pick the strawberries at the right place. <laughs> this one's a goodie. Guys, I've literally just learnt this for the first time right now. Strawberries start as flowers. I'm shook. There's like each little stage no, 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 no. of the flower. Can David Attenborough yeah. step in for a second? <laughs> David Attenborough has a word for the people. Yes. But you think about every other fruit. Why is my phone playing music? No, mine is. Oh. <laughs> um, every other fruit starts as a flower. A zucchini. The music. A zucchini. Yeah. A uh, eggplant. A, or a squash, if you're in America. Or what other. No, they're not fruits. No, but they have seeds. <gasps> Wait, is a pumpkin a fruit because it's got. Well, is it also a flower? It is. And a fruit. Yes. So nothing is vegetables. Nothing vegetables are a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually... Is this a, is a kiwi a fruit? They have seeds. Guys, the vegetables are all lying to us. All of them. Veggie tales when we grew up? David Attenborough found the perfect strawberry in the fields. <laughs> Finished your 
strawberry picking. I only got the 500 gram punnet and I'm really upset that I didn't get the kilo. <laughs> it went so quickly and I loved it. Liv got the kilo. I mean David Attenborough got the kilo. <laughs> I'm a bit jelly. Who is this little person? <laughs> I'd like to meet her someday. She sounded like a legend. But yeah, I've never done strawberry picking before and I highly recommend that was... Oh my god. <laughs> But um, yeah, I've never done that before and it was so nice and therapeutic and relaxing. I think I loved it more because we're the only ones here. It's just like a Thursday on no particular day. And there's no one here, which is so fun. Ow, oh, strawberry birds. <laughs> we need to definitely get some strawberry ice cream, but my camera's flashing dead, so I don't know what you guys will see next, but we'll make a trip to the beach. So, we'll see what you see. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hey guys, my camera died, so this is phone video now. But look, we got a dollar for a chocolate coated strawberry that Mate, is huge. I would pay good money for that. I'd pay like a. I'd pay a couple. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and ice cream, which was four dollars. Strawberry ice cream. I'm so excited! Oh my god. David Attenborough got himself a chocolate strawberry. <laughs> We're crunching it now, <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry, David Attenborough's gone. <laughs> it's like juicy. Yum. Oh my god. Mmm, wow. Mm -mm. I'm so impressed. Oh my god. This is so good. So, guys, we're finished at the beach now. Oh, but she got it. Um, yeah, I had to clear some story to my phone before I could vlog. <laughs> but, um, we just had the craziest encounter, which you would have seen a tiny second of. But, um, some guy came up to us and asked to sit with us. Sorry about the exposure right now. Um, and we were like, no thank you. And then he put his stuff down and we were still like, no thank you, we're talking. And then he went away and sat in front of us. And turns out he was taking photos of all the girls around him, including us. And the police came up to us and we're like, hey, just so you know. We gave him a warning. Um, he was taking photos of all the girls, and I was like, "Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Love that." The police were really nice, so which is good. Just doing their job. So that was a bit of an adventure for our day. Now we're at this beautiful place. We're gonna get some food. Absolutely stunning, stunning lady. The police officer said she had a nice tan on. Nice tan, which is good. Look, he didn't say so. it to me, so <laughs> no, it's real. Hey guys, so as you would have seen, me and Liv had a delicious feed at um, 9th Street in Malulaba. It was so good, but so bad for you at the same time. And then we drove home and we both had a shower and everything when we got home, but my camera just coming off, but Liv was needed back at home at the Gold Coast, so we had to change our plans and she couldn't sleep over, which is very upsetting, but um... Yeah, she's on her way home now, and we had a big feed, so I don't really need dinner. I might have a little snack or something, maybe just some toast or even cereal or something. Um, and yeah, I exfoliated. I'm going to put on <clears throat> a fresh fake tan. Maybe watch some Netflix. Dylan and I are obsessed with um, the show Lucifer on Netflix. We watch a few episodes every night, which is really bad, and I need to stop doing that, but... I might watch that. I might get a little bit of sort of creative stuff done. I need to reply to my emails. Um, but other than that, I have an exciting day tomorrow as well. So I'm going to keep vlogging tomorrow. But I don't think anything more too exciting will happen tonight. Good morning, guys. It is Friday now and I've washed off my fake tan. I used the Loving Tan Deluxe Mousse this time, not the Two Hour Express, because I'm all out of the Express, so I slept in it, and it still looks stunning, love it. So yeah, I had to wake up and wash that off, just got in a little outfit. I love these earrings, by the way. If anyone's wondering where they're from, they're from Elk Jewelry, E-L-K-E, 
on Instagram. <clears throat> they just gifted me these a little while ago, but um, yeah, I love them so much. Anyway, I have a little life update for you guys and a really exciting day today that's sort of all intertwined in one. So, this morning, first of all, my plans are I'm going to quickly have a bite to eat. It's like quarter to nine, I think, at the moment. So I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'll make protein oats or just have toast or something. I'm not sure. I'm kind of hungry though. Um, and then I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to the shops because I want to buy a dress. I really shouldn't buy a dress because... I, it's just not an important money priority at the moment to buy clothes, but I really want to buy a new dress because today I have a photo shoot. So long story short, usually on Fridays, as you guys know, I work at City Beach and I start at 6am and I do like a shift until whenever. And so far I'd worked there for four shifts and I think there's six training shifts in total. Um, but last week, I, the week before actually, I called in sick just because it literally made me feel sick thinking of going. Like I just, for some reason, just couldn't, I don't know. It just gave me so much anxiety to the point where, yeah, like I felt a bit sick in my stomach and I don't know why, because I know every time I went there and went, as soon as I got there and was doing the actual work and the tasks, I didn't not like it. Like it wasn't awful. The people there weren't awful. They were super nice. It was a cool environment. But it was just like not, I think that feeling of sickness and like getting anxious about it was just my body giving me feedback that it just like wasn't right and it just wasn't. Like I was just doing it for the sake of it, for like the security of having like a normal job I guess when I really just knew I didn't want to do that and it just wasn't really aligned with my goals and my values and all that kind of stuff. So basically yeah, two Fridays ago I called in sick and then I was like okay well um what do I do now so then the whole week after that leading up to the next Friday I was like stressing about it and it just takes so much out of me because I literally dread Fridays every week um so on the Thursday I resigned which is totally fine because I was a casual and like still in training so it's better off to like resign then I guess so I did it over email I gave her a call and said I'd send her an email left a message called the reception because she didn't pick up a phone blah 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 did everything that I needed to do Followed all the steps, you know, very polite, very exactly what you meant to do. Like, either way, I was like, I'm not too worried because I was like one of probably hundreds of casuals. They have a lot of staff and I always get got sent home so early because they always overstaffed. So I knew they wouldn't miss me. Like, I, that's why I was like, oh, it's no biggie, like resigning the day before I usually work. Anyway, um, to this day, I still haven't heard a peep from them. So it's now been a week. Didn't get any response, didn't get anything literally not a single word nothing which is so weird to me like so weird to me but it also just shows like probably wasn't you know the kind of place I wanted to work if they're not even polite enough to be like no worries thank you like even just acknowledging like that I emailed and called and stuff but anyway so that's that chapter of my life over that lasted like four weeks but anyway Long story short, I was really scared to resign because obviously it's a very normal job, it's secure because I get shifts, even though it's casual, but whatever. Um, and basically, the day I resigned, after I sent that email, I got offered another weekly shift selling donuts at different markets, so another one on top of what I already do. And I got a few different paid sponsorship deals, which was like a first for me. So yeah, it just goes to show like you really need to even if you're scared of doing something, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what if what you're doing currently is holding you back from, if that makes sense. That wasn't English, but you don't know what you're holding yourself back from, I guess. And like, yeah, me then resigning from that job. So I've got all this, like I've got a spare day on Friday now and I've got like all this free mental energy. I'm not worrying all week about it. Just opened me up to so many more opportunities already like just in that moment of me resigning which is so crazy to me but then also today basically I'm doing a shoot for a really cool bar slash outdoor venue in Brisbane called X Cargo. only reason I got involved in this is because I follow the owner on Instagram and he just put it on his story saying he's looking for a handful of people to do a shoot for like I'm assuming like summer and spring because they're back open now after COVID and being closed and everything and he was like, just need a few people to do like drinks and food and do photos and stuff. And I was like, I'll do it. And I only just realized that I would never have been able to say, yeah, I'll do it. If I had a shift at City Beach, which I do every Friday. 
So even just that opportunity in itself, it's not paid or anything, but just the connections to me are so important and the experience and being involved in something like that is just such a cool opportunity. So I just thought I'd share that. I know that was a really long clip, but I just thought that was really cool to share. So basically what I need to do is I want to buy a dress for that shoot because I have nothing that I like and nothing that I want to wear. So I'm going to go to the shops, do that, check my PO box on the way home and then come back and do my hair and makeup essentially. So let's go. Finished getting ready now. The curls are brushed out and they don't look so crazy anymore. Makeup is on and Abby is here. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Wow. We're ready. We're ready. What are you wearing, Ellie? I am wearing this impulse buy from Sabo Skirt. Oh wait, let me get my shoes on so it looks cool. Oh, okay. You do that. Anyway, we're waiting on our ride. Dill's gonna drop us off because there apparently is fruit and drinks provided, so we're gonna be safe we're and gonna get drunk. Getting a dranky drink. <laughs> Are you putting on lipstick? I have lipstick on, but I'm putting on lipstick. Oh, oh very good, yes. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. How's that going for you? Would you like me to help you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Abby's dress is from Princess Polly. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did I say that? No. Oh. Any shoes? <laughs> My Princess Polly dress, um, Lenny OBL or. What's love Ellie. Love Ellie. <laughs> and then my shoes are from Sushi Bird. Oh, I was going to guess that. Nice. Yeah, I wish they were Princess Polly. Sorry, gals. Sorry. Well, my dress is Sabo Skirt, which is very different for me, but. Yeah, I love that. Anyway. Oh, hello. Oh. All right. So we tried a rose spritz. Rose Thank spritz. You. Highly recommend. Okay. Daniel's recommendation. So the first one's here. So we got a little drinky drink. And we're setting so up, nice. and I'm so excited. We've only seen this place yeah. when we're like drunk, so it's And at night time. It's yeah. very stunning during the day. Okay, guys, so our fellow photo shoot people have arrived. We've got, was it Talia? Yeah. And Chris? Bruce. Awesome. And Talia's gonna plug her TikTok. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, so it's T A double L I Y H A double. Oh, no, double A at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna start again. No, yeah. I'm just gonna show yeah, wait, my yeah, username. Show it because, like, because I'm not gonna remember to put no. that on the screen. To be honest. T E T A. Anyway, there we are. Oh, yes. Is that showing? Potentially. <laughs> anyway, I think we're doing sponsored content oh, content for Sarah because it. that's what's <laughs> happening here. Stunning, 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 stunning. Okay, guys, we've had a few drinks and we're just relocating. So guys, we're absolutely kicking on. <laughs> what do you mean? What We've you just say? been handed like jugs and jugs of cocktails. What do you mean? And now we're getting a drink. Only a cheeky six jugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we've literally made friends. So Talia and Chris are now our friends. Aren't they? We've relocated, we're getting food now. We've it's really like four or something. Time. Yeah. But, it's but now we're staying. Okay. We're having so much fun. So. <laughs> Hey guys, so last time I spoke to you, Abby and I were having so much fun at the ex cargo shoot and it ended up being like really chill and really, I guess, low key and casual. It wasn't very planned or anything. There was only two other people there and they were really cool and really down to earth and we made really good friends with them and stayed for like, I think like two hours after the shoot was over, just like having drinks with them and having more food and stuff because we got like free food and drinks and they just kept bringing it over to us so we just kept sitting there and chatting with them which was really cool um and then after that i just came home it was kind of dinner time by the time i got home but i ate a fair bit at ex cargo so i literally just like chilled out at home and watched some netflix with dill and went to bed and this morning i had my shift at the market selling donuts which you saw and after that, what did I do? I had a very productive afternoon. I, um, Dill wasn't home. He went out to the beach with his friends. So I thought I'd have a bit of a productive Saturday just because there's always so much that I could do. So I love 
feeling productive, especially when I'm on my own and everyone else is like out doing something. I just feel like that's, I don't know. I always get a bit of FOMO, like if I could be dumb, doing something with someone else, but if I know that like everyone else is like busy or whatever, I feel like I have, I don't know. I feel like I'm taking really good use of that opportunity to like get work done on my own. I don't know. I just really like, it really fills up my cup, like doing work on my own and getting stuff done. Anyway, now it's Saturday night and I'm going to wrap up this vlog because I want to edit it and upload it for you guys. Um, that's literally all I've been doing this afternoon is just being productive, doing work and emails and stuff. Um, but yeah, as you saw, I literally never ended up getting anything at my PO box this week. Every day I was like, I'm going to go check it, but I either didn't because I ran out of time or there was nothing there because I can't figure out my notification system. You can set up a system where you get an email every time something is there because obviously I don't have stuff there every day. So I want to set that up, but I don't know if it is set up or not, because I'm expecting things, but I'm not getting any emails, so I'm confused, but anyhow, that's none of, um, that's a me problem, not a you problem. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and there will be another one very, very soon, so thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!